and welcome to the Hi, I'm Leslie, and this is the Children's Worship from the First United Methodist Church of Montclair and Verona. We're so glad that you joined us this Sunday. Before we get to our new story where we're going to learn about um, a child's generosity, let's put our hands together and get our hearts ready to, to worship. Dear Jesus, we just ask that you open our hearts and open our minds so that we can learn about you and worship you with all of who we are. In Jesus' name, amen. So did you know that today our story is about yes. generosity and how God, Jesus, used the gifts of a little child to do a very big miracle because there were so many people and they were so hungry. And did you know that the little child only had what was in his lunch? And when Jesus was looking to find a way to feed all of those hungry people, Jesus was able to use the child's small lunch to do a big, big miracle. And did you know that God can use us even if we're small or even if we have a little gift to give? That um, when we give it, God can use it and he, he uses even a very small gift of ours. So this reminds me of a really cool comic. Can I share it with you today? Okay. It says, oh, 
No, there's no more spaghetti in here either. Find it, find anything? We can't have two raccoon free month spaghetti celebrations without spaghetti. Who could have anticipated so many people would want to celebrate these two months without one raccoon sighting? According to my calculations, if P equals people and N equals noodles, it will take a miracle to feed everyone. Hey, we're not too late for the spaghetti dinner, are we? I couldn't remember if we were being fed spaghetti or if we needed to bring spaghetti. It's a miracle! I wouldn't consider this in the same category as Jesus' miracle, but it is some miraculous timing. Wow, so our friends in our story, they were going to have a spaghetti dinner, but they didn't have any spaghetti. And then their friends came and they had just what they needed. All of that extra spaghetti. And you know what? The friends taking care of their other friends reminds us of the story today in our gospel lesson when Jesus was able to feed the 5,000 with just five loaves of bread and two fishes. And um, this was a miracle because that one child gave all that they had and Jesus was able to use it to take care of so many people. And we learn about how God really cares about people and wants them to be taken care of. And you know what? We can be part of that. <coughs> Bless you. We can do that too. Think about people who in your community might not have enough to eat. And is there a way that you could help? Either by donating something or giving up your time or praying for them? We want to be like Jesus and helping to take care of people too. We're so glad that you joined us today as we remembered about how God cares about people and is compassionate and trying to make sure that they have enough to eat. So before we end, let's put our hands together in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for caring about us, about whether we're hungry, whether we're taking care of, and whether the people in our lives also have the food that they need. Please use us to help others to have what they need to and keep us safe in the following week. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody, and go with the following blessing. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9.